Sir, tell me exactly what happened. Well, I killed somebody. You killed somebody? Oh, I killed okay. somebody, Jesus, and I buried him. Okay. Yep. I think it is. There's the, like, I think it's the boot, it's and the that's boot. the bottom sole of it. Yo. What's your name, sir? Tony Peralta. And who's the person that you killed, Tony? In December of 2008, a man named William Blodgett vanished under mysterious conditions. Blodgett's son, Greg, reported him missing on January 3rd, 2009, after no one in his family was able to reach him for more than 10 days. Police investigated and learned Blodgett reportedly had an issue with his tenant, later identified as Peralta, around that time, and tried to evict him, a police report cited in the criminal affidavit said. A detective later interviewed Peralta, but quote-unquote, no new leads came from the conversation, the affidavit said. Authorities searched the home and the neighborhood, talking with neighbors and using a cadaver dog, but did not find anything. Police eventually said the case got cold and was closed. That was until 15 years later, when a shocking confession from a former suspect, Tony Peralta, finally unraveled the mystery of a once cold case. Sir, tell me exactly what happened. Well, I killed somebody. You killed somebody? Yes, sir. What's your name, sir? Tony Peralta. And who is the person that you killed, Tony? His name is Bill. Okay, a long time ago? Yeah. Or today? A long time ago. Well, what is that? I buried him in his house. Right. Okay. On 5th Street. What's the address? I don't know. You don't know? No, sir. How'd you go up here? You walked? Yeah. This okay. is a long time ago, is what he's saying. I'm just trying to cover it up. Right? Try to cover it up? Yeah. Okay. I'm tired of living with my life, sir. The guilt? Hell yeah, yeah. Okay. This is him. Is it okay? You're all sweaty. Did you run here? Or? No, I drank. Oh, you drank all that water right there? No. Okay. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Would you show me where it's at? What? If I took you, would you be able to show me where it's at? Well, I have to get it right now. Well, that will be known where the. Yeah, the house what? If I took you, would you be willing to show me where it's at? Do I have to get it right now? Well, that will be know where the, yeah, the house I'll is. Okay. I'll let you finish your, your thing. Let's go. Okay. You don't want to finish it? You're good there? Yeah. Okay. Anyways. All right. Just hang on, okay? Blacks? 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 No. Is this Jamie? I did. You did? Yeah, we already got this. This guy has it. No. Just hang out right here, okay? Let me talk with this guy. Hang out right here. So, he's saying... Yeah. He's saying he uh, killed somebody a long while ago and he buried a house, some house of history. That's what he's like. So, I asked him he's willing to show me where the house is. He's like, yeah, I'm willing to show you where the house is. So, that's, that's all we got right now. He doesn't know the address a long time ago. That's it. Nothing current, so um, I'm gonna take him up there. And see, if you, see if you're willing to show me the house, and we'll just. Yeah. Wait, huh? Wait, I haven't figured out yet. I literally just was hearing conversation stuff. So, what year was this at? You don't remember? Okay. It's been so long. It's been a long time. Okay, we're gonna go all the way around over here. Okay, my car's way over there, so we're gonna walk this way. Yeah. Thank you guys. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Once I get your name, or once I get you in the car, I'm gonna get your name and stuff. Okay. We go to the passenger side here. Okay. Is it on East Fifth or West Fifth? East, east side. Okay. Just hang out that tire. Okay. Do you have anything on your person besides your switchers? Mind if I check you? I don't get fucked. Okay. The phone? Okay. I'm just gonna hold on to these, okay? Can I see from my brother? Well, hey, will you give that stuff back to uh, that guy? No, uh, they belong to my sister. She lives right there down the street. Okay. I left the house. Okay. All right, we'll address it. Have a seat, okay? 
I'm gonna roll the window down for you. Mr. Mayor, all right. So what's gonna happen, okay? Um, we're gonna go to the police department, okay? The, we're gonna find out some more information, okay? The detectives are gonna talk with you about more information with it, okay? And then we'll they'll, we'll address it from there, okay? Ours, right, so hang on, okay? Yes, sir. Shortly after the confession, Tony was brought to the police station for further questioning to gather more details about the crime. This task was expected to be relatively straightforward, considering the killer's willingness to confess and high level of cooperation. However, the officers soon realized that the process would be more challenging than anticipated. Step up for me, man. <sighs> fucking hurts, dude. What hurts? My fucking handcuffs. Okay, well, we're gonna get them off here right now. We're gonna go this way. Stand right here and face this wall real quick. And I'm gonna give it a good shit. Fuck, that shit hurts. This arm is hurting. Whole body, bro. Your whole body? Yeah, I took a bunch of bone fish pills and everything. You took some or you take some? I took some. Okay. I had to drink. I shouldn't have drank. Okay, have a seat. Hold on. But I didn't know how to confess to him. Okay, have a seat real quick. Alright. Now, when you say you took all this stuff, when was this? A little bit ago? When you took the pills and the alcohol. Yeah, I needed my pills. When was this that you took them? Was it earlier this morning? Yeah, I wanted to take some alcohol. Okay. Because I wanted to confess. Okay. Hang on, let me go lock my car quick. Hold on. Now, though it may be true that Tony was willingly confessing to his crime due to overwhelming feelings of regret and guilt, we can assume that he, like many other perpetrators, might have hesitated a bit. I mean, who in their right mind would want to give away their life intentionally, right? For this reason, he may have taken the substances to numb any feelings or thoughts about the consequences he's about to face. This way, he goes through with this confession for the sake of William and his family, rather than thinking about himself and backing down, as he did for a long time. So, I'm just this. What's your name? You know what I see? Oh, yeah. Okay. I told you my name was what you asked me. I'm just trying to start a conversation, man. Okay, my name's Tony Ray Prota. Tony Prota? Yeah, I didn't do that back with you. I'm sorry? I've been drinking. You've been drinking? Yeah. Okay. It's so my understanding you called us, is that correct? Hell yeah. You want those off? Yeah. But it's kind of mixed messages. You had handcuffs in I killed talking. somebody, dude, and I buried him. Okay. Um, you brought here. Are you making, do you, do you feel like you're able to leave if you if you wanted, or do you want to be here? Hell yeah! You want to speak I confess to a murder. Okay. Given the circumstances, the officers also seemed to have a kinder attitude towards Tony, recognizing the intense emotions he was experiencing and acknowledging his conscientiousness to confess, though it occurred a long time ago. Okay. How much have you had to drink today? A lot. What? Yeah. Wait, when you find his fucking body, do you okay. make you feel better? Is that his house? That'll make you feel better? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I don't want to live with the shame anymore. Okay, I understand that. All right, well, um, I just my understand you're, you're willing to, to Jesus. Yeah, it's my understanding you're willing to take us to the house. Yeah, hell yeah. Did it happen at the house? It did. It did. I was I was on meth really bad. Okay. And I killed him because he didn't give me no money, and I buried him in his house. In his house. Do you remember his name? His name was Bill. Everybody talks about it all the time. Okay. 
Oh, I'm good. I don't know. You don't know? Too long. I don't know why. Too long, boss. Don't yeah. ever stay. Don't kill my dude that you don't have to. All right, Tony, well, I'll tell you what, give me a sec, we're going to go go for a car ride if you want to do that. To, to his house, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Okay. Now, before we, before we do this, you understand, if, if and when if we do so find you, his body. I, you you're... better find his body, it should be right there. Okay. Hey, I confess, man. Mm -hmm. I confess. I don't want to live, live life anymore without confessing. For good measure, like you said, you brought you got brought here in because I know you, I know you called us. I know you want to do this because it's it's a strain on yourself. But I, I just want to make it clear that um, I'm not going to be that person. Yeah, I, just, I mean, I, I want to make this perfectly clear that you're telling us it's it's good on you for doing it, but it, it'd be my job. I would have to prosecute this when I discover this. You understand that, yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. So I'm, 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 I'm going to go ahead and advise your rights just because it's kind of the state. I don't, so you don't have to tell me my rights. I know I'm fucked. I don't even care if I go to jail for fucking forever right. or get the deal, death penalty. Yeah. I should have never sinned, and that's oh, it. Oh, man, I got you, but just just let me get through this. It's something, that's, it's something on my end that they want me to do, okay? So okay. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney and to have the attorney present before any questioning and during any questioning. If you can't afford to hire an attorney, one will be provided for you at no cost to you. And if you choose to answer any questions or make any statements, you're free to stop at any time. Okay. You understand all that? Yeah, very Okay, I know you said you drank a little bit. Hey, I wanted to confess to you. Right, I understand. All right, cool. All right, so we're gonna go get in the car. We'll, we'll drive you to it. You show me. I'm hot me though. Will we turn on the air conditioner? It's oh, hot man. It's so hot in here. We're gonna go downstairs. We're gonna get in the car. I'm gonna turn that AC up. All right, I, I yeah. hate it up here. All right, well let's go. Okay, give me one minute. Yeah. I just gotta do some real quick with those handcuffs. Here, friend. Relax. Watch your water. Uh, yeah, please. Go ahead, you grab it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can I smoke that? A is my last. We'll do it over there, okay? Oh, wait. Yeah. Right. But I can't do it in my cop car. So grab your water. Oh, you don't have a lighter, huh? I have lighter in my cop car, though. All right, cool. Grab water. A. Just my last cigarette, and that's it. All righty. Oh. I got you. You can bring it with you if you want it. All righty. We're going to go down to the right and down the stairs again, okay? Okay. Thank you guys. Absolutely. Can you hop on my end? Yeah. Okay. Let's move some things. Back to the door? Okay. Go ahead. We're going on this side, okay? I'm not cool enough. Go ahead and see. Alright. Alright. Right. Gonna push. Wherever. This white one? This white one here? Yeah. I buried him in that slight place right here. I 
Uh, that one is eight. Hey, you see this side of the little door right here? Uh-huh. Yeah. There you can right there. Okay. Like in the little building? Yes, sir. Hang on. I'm sorry? Why didn't they smell his body in there? I don't know. Hang on, okay. This is bizarre given the fact that in 2009, law enforcement did use cadaver dogs on William's property. So how come it went unnoticed? But neither Tony nor the officers had the answers to these questions. Tony. Yeah. Here's the deal, brother. We need some more details. All right, what do you want? To be able to prove it. Okay. So let's start at the beginning. Okay. What year do you think this was? I don't remember. How old do you think you were? I don't remember. What does the victim look like? What I did don't remember. Like? What do you mean you don't remember? I don't remember. I just know that I killed him. Why do you know that? Because I know that I killed him and I kept it a secret. Okay. Why did you keep it a secret? Because I didn't get caught. How long have you been keeping it a secret for? A long time. Like how long? Um, like seven years maybe. Yeah. You see how all your answers are I don't know? That's what we're having a hard time with. Well, I said I did it. Yeah. But... We need a lot more detail than that in order to get the full picture of it, right? And if this person's dead in here and has been dead for a long time, they got family, right? Yeah. Yeah. So the family's probably missing them. Okay. They probably deserve answers on what happened, right? Yeah. So do you want to give them that? I was high and I didn't get the fuck. Okay. What were you high on? Meth. Meth? Smoke it or shoot? I shot it. Shot it? How much did you use a day? A lot. A lot? Are you still using it? No, sir. No. That's yeah. probably why I'm confessing. So, why? what was the reason that you killed him? I don't have a reason. You didn't have a reason? So, were you guys arguing? No. I just felt stupid one day, I guess. You just felt dumb? What was he doing when you killed him? Being a good man. Was he sitting, I sleeping, know. standing, reading, watching I, TV? I don't remember. You don't remember? But you killed him in a tub? No. That's what you said earlier. I didn't say that What did you say? I said I killed him. That was it. No, you said in the bathroom. It's up. How'd you kill him? I didn't say that. How'd you kill him? I said I killed him. That was it. No, you didn't. You told me how earlier. Well, he's right there. Well, we're going to go see if he's in there. Okay. But how'd you kill him? I killed him. How? Did you shoot him? him? No. Did you hit him with a bat? I killed him. How'd you kill him? I don't remember. Did you stab him? I don't remember. You did earlier. I did earlier. You're just repeating the things that I'm saying now. You see how I don't believe you? If I just came to you and I just said it all the time, I don't know, I don't remember, would you believe anything I'm saying? You said, hey, sir, what's the law on this inside? I don't know. You think you trust me? That's why I'm having a hard time trusting you. I know, I said a guilt person is in the house. Yeah, well, we're gonna go try and find him. Okay. But I don't have the details on where he's at. I told you where he was at. Where's he at inside the house? I don't know. Huh? <sighs> where's, where's you burying? On the side house right there. Okay. What part? The part right there. Yeah, yeah, but what part of that room? The left side. The left side? Yeah, if you dig in, if you pull the board up and dig them up. Okay. okay. On, on the left side of the building? Yeah. So that's towards the courthouse? Yes. Okay. Which way is his head pointed? I don't know. Which way are his feet pointed? I don't know. How is he laying in there? He's just dead. I don't know. How deep is he buried? And not very far. Not very far? Nope. Are we talking like inches? Yep. Or like feet? Mm, inches. Inches? Yep. You'll okay. find him. You think he's decayed? Oh yeah. How long do you think it's been? Too damn long. Too damn long? Yes, sir. What was he wearing? I don't remember. Was he wearing clothes? Yes. Or did you bury him naked? I buried him with clothes. With clothes? Yes. Did he have shoes on? I don't remember. Did he wear glasses? I don't remember. What, what <laughs> type of person? Was he white? Was he Hispanic? Uh, I think he was white. Black? I don't, know. I don't know. You don't know what he was? Mm -hmm. And you don't know his last name? No, sir. How old do you think he was? Uh, old. Like how old? I don't know. Like if you had to guess. How old are you? Old. Uh, 37. 
Is he older than you? Yeah. How old's your parents? My parents are dead. How old would they be? I don't know. You don't know? Over 50? I don't know anything. Okay. Are you under the influence of anything right now? Yeah, I'm drinking alcohol. You've been drinking? Yeah. You want to wait and talk to us once you're sober? Uh, yeah. Can you take me to the police station or what? No, we're going to leave you here for right now. What do you mean? Because we got to do this. So you're going to stay here. Okay. If we find something, then obviously we'll have more to talk about. All right, cool. But we need details to start working on this. So if you can already it, gave you every single detail, right? But there's a lot of I don't know. So I'm saying if you start to remember those things, let All somebody right. know. All right. Okay. First thing. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, you're gonna stay here for a little while. Okay. Okay. And if this is a lie, you're gonna be charged with false reporting. Okay. Okay. Here's that like the black tarp they put down to keep weeds from growing here. Oh, that looks like shit. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, that's just a mouse in there. Is that a shoe? I think it is. I think it's a shoe too. The boat's in there. It's starting to pour out. Do you want Tizzy to come help you? <laughs> That's weird though. Mm -hmm. I suppose. Or do you want to back up in a circle? <laughs> Let's pull this out. Let's see what up. Let's see what it get it with the shovel. I think it is. There's the, like, I think it's the boot it's and that's boot. the bottom sole of it. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Because you can see they come right up right there. So we need to get that out and that'll kind of determine a little bit more, you know? Yeah, because that's the sole of it. Yeah, that's just, yeah, that would go right there. Okay, I've been pulling and see if a foot falls out. <laughs> okay. This is getting very scientific. Uh, it's seven years or more ago, I'm not going to lose anything. Oh, oh so check that. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. oh. Yep. Following the discovery of William's remains, Tony was brought back to the police station. He was visibly overwhelmed with remorse for the actions that led to the loss of an innocent life. Have you been here for a little while at the police department? Mm -hmm. My name is Gino, by the way. They they just called me in. Yes, nice to meet you. You too, sir. Is that good? Is the hammer good? It's McDonald's, but it is what it is, right? So they um they already read you your Miranda rights. You're yeah. aware of all that stuff. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna let you know again, okay? It's something that we should have to do. What time did, did you call the police department? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell me what happened, man. I killed somebody a long time ago. Okay. Why? What happened? <laughs> I don't know, sir. I've, I've been told his name is Bill. Uh, but it's really w William, right? I don't know. You were living with him at the time? Back then, um, you guys had some kind of issue. Was it about a wallet? No. Do you remember what what happened? Why? Why? I just remember I just needed to confess. That was it. Okay. How did you do it? Do you not remember? Or you just want to say it. I just don't want to talk anymore. 
Well, it's off your shoulders now, man. <laughs> is, you know, I want to, I want to know. And, you know, I can read the reports from, from back then, and that's why I said the wallet thing, because that's what we were told. I know he was an older guy, and I know that you were living with him, right? You guys were roommates. He owned the place, right? Mm-hmm. But he would, he allowed you to stay there, like you were kind of renting. Did you pay him money to live there, or? I don't remember. He just, okay, but you guys were living together. All right. So, what happened, man? Do I look familiar to you? Uh-uh. No? You look real familiar to me. I feel like we've talked before. Maybe I've just seen you around town. D- did you use a gun? this one. Why don't, why don't you tell me why you decided to come forward? Because my heart hurts. Okay. It's been eating at you for a while? Fuck yeah. Okay. I know this is probably the, a, bi- a big hard decision you had to make. You've been thinking about it for a while? Every day. I've never been in that position, but I can imagine how hard that decision was to, to step up and at least nobody doesn't have something. to worry anymore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can imagine his family. You know, he he was an older guy, but you know, his family never never knew what happened, and that's kind of <coughs> that's kind of where I stand because I want to be able to. To tell them, you know what happened. His tell son. them that he was a good man and I should have did what I did. You know. Okay. Yeah, it was, it was. His son is the one that reported it to us back then about not being able to get a hold of his dad. Why didn't anybody say anything after that? Why didn't everybody just let him fucking slide? What do you mean? The cops talked to you back then, I would assume? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Give me a little details, Tony. What happened? Um, do I have to speak or what? No, you don't have to, man. I'm just talking to you. You don't have to tell me anything. You don't. You don't. I just, I just want to know the story. I'm sure the family wants to know the story. You know, things... He was he was always good to me, and I took his life for no reason. And I don't have an excuse. What did you A use? lot of people have an excuse. I don't have one. What did you use to kill him? I don't remember. Do you remember if it was some type of weapon or your hands? I don't remember. All I know is that I buried him, and I shouldn't have. One of the officers told me that you had said it was some type of sharp object. Maybe like a knife or a screwdriver or something. I don't remember. Okay. And again, you you don't have to talk to me, but please don't lie, because there's no reason to lie anymore. Right? I killed him with a screwdriver. Okay. And is that screwdriver around anywhere? No. Okay. Because it's been, I mean, I know it's been a long time. Yeah. You got family in town here? Yeah. 
that's why I wanted to spring bail. You know, nothing happens to them. It was my fault for my sin, you know. Nobody else should suffer except this. Your parents still around? No. No. Okay. So no reason. All right. So I kind of went back there and looked at it in the area. There's some cross members on the floor. Were those there when when you put them in there? No. Okay, so it was just an open space at the time. I don't remember. You don't remember? There was some what? Like cross members. You know, like if, if you were to pull up the floor, there's like joists, like braces. Uh huh. You know, what I'm talking about like deco diagonal that the floor sits on. No. Those weren't there. I don't remember. Okay. Did did you have to? Let me say this. Did you have to? dismember his body to get him in there or did you just put him in their hole? I don't remember. I don't remember. Well, see, I want, anyway, he's already confessed, man. No, well, see, I'm, I want, I, I need to know this information because I'm going to go and dig him up, right? And I'm going to dig him up. No, no, no. Like we, we went over there and looked at it. We haven't even got started yet. That's, that's a... Are they going to take me to jail? It's or? a process. I don't know, man. I don't know. We have to talk to the district attorney's office. So I'm be stuck here all night or what? No, not all night. No. No, but we got to talk to the DAs. There's a, they're the ones that ultimately make the decision. But those cross members, you know, like, there's no, there would be no way to put him in the ground without dismembering him. That, that's my just my curiosity is what I'm facing. Okay. All right. Is there anything that, that you think I should know that you want to tell me before I take off? Everybody knows everything, right? It's often uncommon for perpetrators who commit cold-blooded killings to confess, let alone feel remorseful towards their wrongful acts. However, Tony's case stands out to be one of those rare instances. In August of 2023, Tony Peralta pleaded guilty to the second-degree murder of William Blodgett and was sentenced to 15 years in prison.